is October, or as I like to call it, Rocktober, and that means all of this month's prompts on spilling coffee beans are kind of fall slash Halloween centric, which makes me really excited. So excited, in fact, for today's topic because it's not today's topic. I am really late with this video, but I love the theme so much that I'm just gonna like randomly post this like on a Tuesday so that I can share it with you because this last week's Spilling Coffee Beans theme was tell us about your favorite past Halloween costumes. So as you can imagine, I am so excited that I'm gonna like totally jump ship and do this off schedule and I do hope you enjoy it. And I will link the playlist for October in the description box so that you can see all of the other Spilling Coffee Beans participants and their fun responses to this prompt. All right, so favorite past Halloween costumes. <laughs> all of them. I've had so few Halloween costumes that I didn't love, so um, I'm just going to talk about a couple that immediately pop into my mind. All right, so the very first in-memory Halloween costume that I really loved was a Tinkerbell from Disney's Peter Pan costume that I wore when I was about three, and I loved it. I wanted to wear it all the time. It was made of that really amazingly flammable, plasticky stuff, and it came with this, like, suffocating hard plastic mask with a painful elastic strap on the back, but I thought it was the best thing ever, especially since I got to wear it with my uh, boyfriend, whose name was Brian, no relation to my current partner. 1980, I think, Halloween, yeah. Um, next, my I Dream of Jeannie costume from the, uh, entire academic school year of 1983-84. Uh, I was obsessed with my I Dream of Jeannie costume. I tried to wear it to school. My mom had to hide it from me because I uh, wanted to wear it all the time. This photo is not taking the Halloween, obviously. It's Christmas morning, but that was one of the few occasions for which I was permitted to wear that costume. Loved it. Also, isn't that the best ever E.T. suitcase? I still have that. Moving on, for a very short period of time, shockingly, I'm sure, uh, to you, I did not dress for Halloween for very, very, very few couple of years. And also there's like spotty photographic coverage of those years in my costumes. Um, but by the age of 15, I was basically like living goth and wearing costumes every day anyway. Um, but as an adult, a couple that stick out in my mind are Halloween 2004, I think. I dressed as um, the girl from Ringu, the Japanese horror film. I think maybe the American version of the film had just come out and that's why I did it that year. And I scared so many people, it was so awesome. Like this picture doesn't really do it justice. Um, yeah, that year also my partner was uh, the crow. We are dorks, moving on. Um, next up that I remember a lot of uh, really loving for Halloween was um, a Marie Antoinette costume that I made for the Halloween of 2009, I think. <laughs> And I made the whole costume, and I, I don't know if you can tell from the photo, but I used um, latex wounds to, ha to simulate my head be having been chopped off, and then strips of duct tape to put it back on. And so when I went to the costume contest that year, and I you know, got my turn to like plead my case for winning the costume contest, I said, see, duct tape really does fix everything. And I won 300 bucks in cash. True story. That was awesome. Um, more recently, hmm, what Halloween costumes have I really loved? My most recent Halloween costume last year, Halloween 2016, I loved was my belly dancer costume. Um, I had so much fun just dancing everywhere and most importantly I loved that wig and that beard like I kind of just want to wear both of those things on Tuesdays. I just had a lot of fun with the hair aspect of that costume and also it was 
the most comfortable costume ever. I tend to um, have a lot of problems. Um, I think, lastly, my partner would say that all of our assorted Star Wars costumes that we've done over the years are his favorite, and I have really enjoyed them, and I make all of them, including his. So I'm just going to leave you here with a quick little slideshow of a few costumes that I really love that I've done for us over the years. I hope you enjoy them. They're perfectly amateur. I'm not a professional seamstress, but I always really enjoy um, making costumes and celebrating Halloween. Um, if you have any questions about that or comments, you know, obviously let me know. And thank you so much for watching this very ill-timed but fun Spilling Coffee Beans. I can't wait to be back with you for next week's Spilling Coffee Beans, which is all about telling scary stories. So, um, yeah, we'll see how I do with that. I'll see you then.